So then people, what's up and welcome back to another live show. Yep, we're back for another one, two in a space of a day. More transfer news come out from Barrow than that Miles. So, throughout this then, we're going to speak about what my thoughts on Miles Kenlock is and uh, what your thoughts are on Miles Kenlock in the comments. But I am just going to quickly share the uh, stream out, try and get a few more people into the stream. So then, I I think Mayo can look an experienced left back played for the likes of Ipswich Town. He was at Colchester United. He's been at other small clubs like that. So he's got the football league experience. But I am going to put up now on the screen on the screen of what Barrow said about uh, well what. The club said about Miles Kenlock joining Barrow. So then, Pete Wilde has made another addition to his squad this week as a former left, former Ipswich Town left back Miles Kenlock joins signs for the Bluebirds. South London born Kenlock starts his football in life in Crystal Palace youth system, guarding through the Croydon Charity Connection, Kinetic Foundation. He signed a professional contract with Ipswich Town in 2015 and made 56 appearances in the Sky Bet Championship for the East Angular side. He spent time on loan in, two, in League 2 last season with Colchester United making 22 appearances and netting three times. Barrow boss Pete Wilde said on his signing, we won two for every position and felt we were a little short in the left back area. As a, well, I totally agree with that. He's a point. He's a player of greater qu quality. So try restarting them. Unplug them. Sorry about that, people. Bloody Alexa's gone off, hasn't it? So, Barrow boss Pete Wilde said on his signing, we won two for every position and felt we were a little short in the left-back area. I totally agree with that. He's a player of greater quali great quality that has played in the Championship and League One. To bring someone of Miles' quality to the club shows that we are trying to do here at Barrow and once we get him up to speed in the next couple of weeks he'll be another player fighting for another position. I totally agree with what Pete Wilde has said there and welcome into the stream Chris mate hopefully you're doing well and uh, Aaron mate I was making a thumbnail and everything. So then what are your thoughts on this Chris mate I know you're a, a Carlisle fan but do you think this is a good signing for Barrow? Do you think this is a uh, a good signing from Barrow? Personally, I think it's a brilliant signing from Forrest. We need another left back. We've got the likes of Brough, 
Tyrell Warren. Well, I don't really know where Bruff will play, to be fair, now if Kyle Kenlock comes in or is... Because Warren was playing left-back on their Saturday and McLean was playing right-back. So is Bruff going to be right-back, McLean going to be left-back and Kyle Kenlock going to be left-back? To be fair, that's probably what Pete Wilde's going to do. Now, I think... I think our squad is very, very strong. Now, I, I would, I don't really know if there's going to be any more going to come in through the window, going to come in. But I think from now until September, well, until the end of the window, if Pete Wilde needs, he's got the time now to for the to see if these are the correct players to go ahead for the season. Yeah, I, I agree. We have been busy this window, Chris, mate. We've been very busy. With a small budget as well, Chris. With a small budget from Barrow, we have been very busy in this transfer window and brought in quite a few decent little, decent players for League 2 level. But, personally, I, I, I don't really know what else I can really say, to be fair, on... This signing, but I'm I am gonna read a few. Well, a thing that I asked Ipswich Town fans what their thoughts are uh, on this uh, on this signing for us, and uh, Brooklyn said uh, he was all right, but I didn't see much of him. Never got game time, but I reckon he will be class for you lot. He was at Colchester last season, if if you know. Uh, he, and sure, he played a decent amount of games. Yeah, he did play a decent amount of games at Colchester. Another one that I've got uh, from an Ipswich Town fan. Uh, saying he is solid independent player, played a lot more games than us at than uh, most supporters realise, probably uh, demonstrating that he just gets on with a job, may be able to show some of his flair at the lower level. I wish him and you guys all the best. Well, I totally... Well, there's another one from uh, from an Ipswich Town fan. So it'd be interesting to see what Kyle uh, Miles Kenlock gets, but I don't see... I guarantee he won't get... He'll probably get a few minutes under his belt against Bradford at the weekend, but I don't think he'll start because I think he won't be up to full scratch fitness yet. But I would like to see him get a few minutes against uh, against Bradford at the weekend. But I don't think there's really much else I can uh, speak about. Uh, Colchester and Ipswich 2.0, they love players from Ipswich, but I think it's good Barrow making a lot of signings. You want competition in every place in the squad. Like that comment there, mate, Chris, mate. I, I couldn't I couldn't agree more. But Chris, I heard in your League Two predictions, mate, that you're saying uh, Barrow to go down. Do you agree? Do you still are you still thinking on that one, Chris, mate? I know you're a Carlisle fan, so obviously you want us to go down, but just going off not being a biased man and being towards yourself. But I, do you still think Barrow will go down this year? I don't think so. But if any of you are new to the channel, please don't forget to uh, smash a like and subscribe. It'd be massively appreciated if you could, as we are uh, growing towards that 500 match. So it'd be massively appreciated if you could uh, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm just going to hear back to what Chris says, but I don't think I'll be much, I don't think I'll be live for much longer. I've talked on my thoughts on Miles Kenlock joining Barrow. Uh, I have to unfortunately stick to my predictions. I don't want to flip flop. It was hard to call. I might end up regretting it at the moment. <laughs> yeah, Carl, I think Carlisle will be up there. They're, they're always up there outside the top 10. So I think, I think, well, not outside the top ten, but you get what I mean. They're inside the they're inside the uh, the mid table cap the mid table part in the uh, football league. But I don't think I'll be. Uh, I think that is where the the show is going to come to an end. But if you have enjoyed the show, then you know what to do. 
smash a like, subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications for post notifications on so you'll be notified when I post a new video or go live. But yeah, Miles Kenlock joins Barrow. Uh, I said Harrogate will go down and look what they did win 3 now. I, I said Harrogate to go down as well, Chris, and that's but first game, it's first game of the season. Anything can happen. Yeah, Chris, mate, anything can happen. But, yeah, I think the show's going to come to an end then. If you have enjoyed it, you know what to do. Smash the like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And Miles Kenlock is Barrow's latest signing. Thank you for watching and peace.